Johnson. I have been working at Maxim since 2007, and I've been working with the Campbells since 2008. Uh, Hannah has cerebral palsy. Uh, she has severe scoliosis of the spine. She has a Mickey button. Most of the things I do throughout the day are designed to keep her mobile or to keep her running and functioning at a level that's good for Hannah. We were looking for in-home nursing support. We went to Maxim. They recommended somebody that might be able to help me do positioning and transfers. So they're the ones that recommended that I meet Aaron and give him a try. And it's been wonderful. Aaron has been with Hannah for seven years now. Before that, Hannah did not have nursing in place and she would go in and out of the hospital. And once Aaron arrived, he just did amazingly with her. Hannah is nonverbal. So the only cues we have from Hannah are body language as well as some different tones in her vocalizations. Aaron is so in tune with Hannah. He can tell when she's happy, sad. He's kind of her extension of her legs and her voice. Working at Maxim gives me the ability to work with the individual and not just the symptoms. The person at Maxim is Hannah. She happens to have cerebral palsy. Because my husband job requires him to travel some and I have three other children. It's been nice to have Aaron's support whenever I need him. He goes out of his way to rearrange his schedule so that the family is able to participate in their other children's activities as well. And that's something that a lot of families that have medically fragile children aren't able to do. So less that Aaron's been with us and can say she's only been in the hospital one I'm since Aaron started seven years ago. I'm glad that Maxim is actually out there trying to recognize the nurses. The opportunity to actually have your perseverance rewarded is huge in continuity of care for patients. We don't think of Aaron as a nurse. We think of Aaron as family.